David Brewster here, new episode of Three for All. This is Three Michael Schenker Licks from 1980. And if you search around on the channel, you'll find lots of episodes related to Michael Schenker. There's Three for All episodes where we looked at some of his licks, the chords of Michael Schenker chord play episode, the chords of UFO, the chords of Scorpions. I'm pretty sure he makes an appearance in that episode. But without question, Michael Schenker is a legend of rock guitar, hard rock, and metal. One of my favorite guitarists, and has been since I was in high school. And I definitely remember reading guitar magazines back in the day. And at that time, a lot of my favorite guitarists listed or mentioned him as an influence. So that put a fire into my butt to go check out Michael Schenker, and as soon as I did, I was blown away. And there's just something about his music. I don't know what it is. It's that energy and that punch and that, that drive that he has when he plays guitar. Nobody sounds like Michael Schenker. A total legend. So this episode's a continuation of the Playing With Feel series that I've added to the mix here in the Three For All episodes. In the previous episode, Blue Saraceno, uh, was the first one in the Playing With Feel. And now we're looking at Michael Schenker. And over the years, I've had lots of guitar students come to me and ask about certain players and how they get that sound. You know, whether it's David Gilmour or Stevie Ray Vaughan or Eddie Van Halen or Randy Rhodes. Here we're talking about Michael Schenker. And definitely, Schenker has the sound, like this energy or this touch or this you know power when he plays guitar because you know when you look and analyze some of his leads the licks and the ideas that he's playing might look familiar on paper but then when you grab your guitar and try to play it you may notice it doesn't sound like michael shanker and it's really missing the feel or at least that's what i you know assume is what's missing is that energy that powerful you know conviction and energy when he plays and that's basically what we're going to hit in this lesson but before we dive into michael shanker's feel Here's an image with the definition, or at least in my world, what feel means in music. So this episode's going to be a little bit different because yes, we're focusing on Michael Schenker licks, but we're centering around his feel, that energy and conviction, you know, when he plays. So the licks in this episode actually came from an interview, it looks like it was backstage in 1980. I'm not really sure where the interview took place, it's a very classic Michael Schenker moment where he's breaking down licks and his rig and tone. He actually starts playing slide and some different stuff in there. And there's some live footage that was mixed in to that interview. And then there's also a separate performance where I pulled a lick from 1981. I think that was actually in Germany somewhere. But there's a mix of some different things hiding in this episode, but it's all related to Michael Schenker and his powerful feel when he plays guitar. So here we go. So to get started here, this isn't the first lick. This is really just a clip with Michael playing a single bent note with vibrato, and he's talking about feel during this clip. But here's a clip from 1980 with Michael Schenker playing one single bent note. Kind of like a fear thing, which is kind of... Uh, with a, you know, vibrato and just holding it back. Just a single bent note, so it's not that exciting, but I really want you to focus on your feel or energy when you play that single bent note. So we're really just grabbing this B note right there on the 19th fret way up on the high E string and bending that a half step to C. And I think he's actually using his middle finger like this. And all I really want you to do there, grab it with your middle finger and index, and you're gonna bend that up a half step. But I really want you to kind of grab it with some authority, you know, really dig in. And try it with other fingers too, I would highly recommend, you know, start with your pinky. And try to match the intensity with all your fingers. Try your third finger. Your middle finger. And your index finger too. And that's really going to, you know, force you to refine and develop that feel and energy just by playing that single note. And really put a lot of energy and focus into that single bent note. Next up is just a sample melodic phrase, and we're going to attack this a lot of different ways. And now we have four notes instead of just one. No way. But it's something like this. <laughs> So it's really simple. But I really want you to focus on the energy that you put into those notes. Don't just play it, you know, with no feel. Like, really dig in and make those notes mean something when you play them. Like now, once you 
once you get the phrase under your belt, let's mutate it. Let's variate that phrase and try other fingers and other ways of playing that same melody. So instead of this, let's try it like this. You're gonna bend that E to F your index finger right there instead of this. Try it again like this. Now we're grabbing that C there on the D string and doing the bend the same way. Let's do it again like this. Finger for that bend once again. Just like we had here. But arranged like that. And then do it on the D string like this. And that kind of mimics the way we had it on the G. But on a different string. And this process of variating that one phrase, that's something I highly recommend you should do. You know, learn it the way it was played and then play with it and see what else you can do with it. You know, make variations and kind of change it around a little bit and see what happens. All right, next up is a multi-position bending phrase. And this is convenient the way Shanker kind of lined this up where we have different string groups and different bending options, you know, but we're focusing on that energy and feel like this. <laughs> So right there, grab this E to G and then bend that G to A with vibrato. And really get in there, give it, you know, give it some help. Grab this D, bend that to E and do it again. Then you're going to reach all the way up here, grab this D on the 22nd fret, the high E, bend that up twice, a whole step. Return to that 22nd fret D. Then you're going to bend that up two whole steps to F sharp. So you're doing uh, two bends to E, a regular D, a two whole step bend to F sharp, and then D back up to E. Like that. And that's something that Shanker does a lot, those really high position, you know, piercing, only dogs can kind of hear, you know, bends way up there. Lots of intensity, lots of feel right there for sure. The next looks this melodic bending phrase, and this actually came from that footage from 1981 somewhere in Germany, but it's like this. One more time. There, start on this E, grab this G to A, and you're going to bend that A up to B, and then release the bend back down to A. And then you're going to grab this F sharp G to A, and then F sharp G to E, and then end on that B note right there, which is so cool. Here, this kind of reminds me of the guitar solo a little bit, a uh, section of the guitar solo during Hey You by Pink Floyd, but this, uh, that kind of crying, you know, upper register bend. A really cool expressive lick. And just dripping with all that feel and energy, really cool. Alright, last but not least is the riff from Lost Horizons, and we're going to move away from some of those bending licks we were looking at and just look at a riff that Michael was playing where he put a lot of energy and feel into it, like this. <laughs> riff and not really a lick, but it's going to serve, you know, our function for my purposes here. 
So basically we're in E minor and we're grabbing so that E, that G, F sharp, you know, G, uh, back to F sharp kind of hammer on pull off. And then you're doing this D to E. And then start it again. The second time you're going to grab that A right there. Do the riff again and then do the first part. Next time right here, you're going to grab E to G, and then you're going to bend this lower G up to A. Lots of attitude right there. Start the riff again. And the last time right here, just climb up chromatically A, A sharp to B to an E power chord. Like that. Now when you play that, uh, put tons of you know feel and energy in there. Actually, if you're familiar with that song, Lost Horizons, you can hear there's you know harmonies and other octaves of that lick. So now instead of doing this, let's do it an octave higher. or something you know play it where it was written and then move it around like move it around in different octaves or different keys or positions or whatever and just to see what happens that's going to wrap this look at three michael schenker licks from 1980 and there's definitely something very elusive about feel and capturing that sound and energy that you hear when you hear a great guitarist play and definitely michael schenker is a great guitarist he's a legend of the guitar and there's something very elusive about his style and his sound and you can sit there and practice his licks until your fingers blister you can dial up the closest approximation of his tone and try to sound like michael schenker but until you actually sit there and really try to tackle his feel and that kind of connected energy he has with the strings and the fretboard, you're going to be missing something. It's almost like a, you know, a puzzle piece that's missing. You can have every piece assembled until you have that final piece of the puzzle, which in some cases might be feel as far as what you're missing. And definitely Michael Schenker has tons of feel and energy when he plays. So anyway, leave some feedback and comments. Please subscribe to my lessons, and I'll be back before you know it with more content and material. Thank you.